Alright everyone, we are finally here with episode 4 of our team building guide, and in this episode, we are really going to summarize what we learned in our last 3 episodes with an entirely different playstyle from what you've already seen. Uh, make sure you also watch the other episodes since they are not only very useful, but I won't be going into detail explaining the different terms that I explained in my past episodes. I will link the past videos in the description uh, so that you guys can check them out, but so far we've done two types of offenses, we've done bulky offense and hyper offense, and we've done one type of defense, which is stall. Now we are going to put what we learned in those episodes, we're going to put them together and create a balanced team. The reason I didn't start out episode 1 with balanced teams was because, well balanced teams are the most straightforward playstyles and I really wanted to show you both the offensive side and the defensive side of team building before teaching you about balanced teams, which incorporates all of those ideas into one. Anyways, without further ado, let us begin. Oh, and so keep in mind, <laughs> I'm actually doing this on the spot, so uh, please forgive me if I say anything that doesn't make sense. Alright, so, for a balanced team, there is a simple structure that I follow that really helps to understand the concept uh, behind this kind of playstyle. Simply put, these kinds of teams have both defense and offense. Usually, to start building these kinds of teams, you're going to want to start off with a defensive core. A defensive core is comprised of two defensively built Pokemon that synergizes or synergies pretty well with each other. Not, um, not only based on the type of synergy, but also it should be both on the physical and spe special spectrum. In other words, uh, you should have one defensive wall and one specially defensive wall that can go very well together as a whole and can cover each other's weaknesses pretty much. So that's pretty much what a defensive core is. Uh, let me give you some common examples. Common examples of defensive cores are the classic Scar and Bliss core, Skarmory Blissey, or you know, Chansey over Blissey if preferred. That's a common, very very common popular defensive, specially defensive core. There's also um, a Moong Bro, which is you know Slow Bro and a uh, There's I mean there's many combinations of cores you can do, and a whole variety of ways where you can approach this. In this example though, uh, the way I'm going to be uh, showing off, I'm going to be building a team right now, pretty much just starting from scratch. We are going to start out with a defensive wall known as Mr. Hippowdon, and let's see here, Hippowdon. Let's just go ahead and type Hippowdon here, and you know Hippowdon is a really really a really good defensive uh, defensive wall. It's a great Pokemon overall. It has the ability to set up, uh, set up Stealth Rocks here. So let's just go ahead and uh, type Stealth Rocks. It has the ability to set up Stealth Rocks, which is essential on balanced teams. It has a way of recovering damage with Slack Off. Um, it has. It's pretty good at walling a variety of threats. And uh, yeah, I'm going to give it an Earthquake. And uh, I guess for the last move, we could have Whirlwind, uh, so that we could uh, you know phase out any tri any Pokemon trying to set up. Oh, mainly also Baton Pass too, so yeah, we could have Whirlwind here. Uh, I mean, you could also replace it, you could have Toxic, you could have you know, Rock Slide maybe even, I don't know. But, yeah, I mean, this is a pretty pretty basic set here. Uh, I'm gonna give it uh, max maximum HP with Impish. Uh, give it, um, there we go. And... Oh yeah, we'll give it four attack. Alright, cool. Give it a Rocky Helmet too, because Rocky Helmet is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, we're gonna give it Sand Force actually, because um, I think I have an idea of what I might use on this team. I'm just planning ahead a little bit, but anyways, uh, yeah. So right here, um, I gave it a little bit of a specially defensive uh, EVs, which would you know prevent it from getting obliterated just by simply getting touched by a special attack. Um, so yeah, this is our defensive wall. It's really it's really good against some kinds of threats, for example, uh, Bisharp maybe, um, you know, Pokemon that are trying to set up. I, I mean, it's, it's a pretty good wall overall. So now that we have our defensive wall, we need our specially defensive wall, so to finish the defensive core. Um, we would be killing two birds with one stone by using special defensive wall, uh, Mew, I think. Uh, we'd be killing two birds with one stone by using Mew because balanced teams most oftentimes need a way to get rid of hazards. And Mew possesses defog while also being a great versatile wall for a defensive core. So let's let's go ahead and add Mew here. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna speed up the EV process just by typing the numbers. So let's go 144 here. Um, we, uh, oops, max special attack and yeah, the rest goes to speed. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty good at like mental math. Um, anyways, uh, leftovers and calm nature. Right, alright, so yeah, so yeah, we have Mew here, and yeah, Mew, just like Hippowdon, it also has a way of setting, um, of regaining its own HP. Defog, of course, very essential, 
And I'm gonna go for the last one. I'm gonna go with Will O Wisp, mainly because you know uh, the speed allows us to outspeed um, uh, like stuff like Jelly uh, Jelly Bisharp if there are anything like that. But um, yeah, Will O Wisp will help burn those kinds of things, and uh, yeah, then we can heal off damage with Soft Boil, so it's pretty good overall. And for the last one, I'm just gonna give it Psychic just for some you know some nice nice solid damage, especially the Pokemon like Mega Ven uh, Mega Venusaur or Conkler stuff like that, maybe for example. Um, yeah, but you see here we have our defensive core, so we have our physically defensive wall, uh, which is our Hippowdon here, and we have our specially defensive wall, which is our Mew, and both of them are pretty good. I mean, they're, they're it's not they're not the same type, so obviously they're you know it's a good variety. Uh, always make sure that when you build te teams, you have uh, a lot of variety on your teams. Uh, anyways, all right, so we have both our physical and special wall now we can move on to our offensive core similar to our defensive core offensive offensive cores are generally built with two pokemon uh, have good type synergy with each other and contain a physical attacker and a special attacker uh, taking a look at the pokemon we have so far we have no certain way to take hits from water grass and ice hits um, you got Hippowdon and Mew and none of them can really take those kinds of hits I mean Mew can Mew could probably sponge like some of the special hits that uh you know, special water hits, grass hits, maybe ice hits too, but we, um, like for example against maybe Specs Keldeo for example, or some really powerful like physical water move or physical ice move or something, I mean, we're gonna need something that is resistant to those things. Uh, we can knock out two of these weaknesses by using a special attacking maybe, uh, Rotom Wash. Uh, let's just go ahead and put Rotom Wash here. Uh, yeah, Rotom Wash. Yeah, Rotom Wash is pretty good for this team, I think. Um, let's have a look here. So Rotom Wash is resistant to water and ice, which pretty much a Powdon is weak to. Uh, apart from Grass, though, we can deal with that for our next Pokemon. So Rotom Wash, of course, is only half of our offensive core. Um, it is resistant to both water and ice, so we're gonna need something that can, uh, I guess, resist Grass for our uh, other part of our offensive core. So we can let's just fill in Rotom Wash. I think I think the best thing to do is probably to use a Choice Scarf set. I feel like um, for this kind of team, a Choice Scarf user would be really useful. Balanced teams appreciate Choice Scarf users because um, it's a good way to be able to either scout or revenge kill uh, an opposing Pokemon. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead with uh, Timid Nature. Where's Timid? Timid, 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 Timid. Ah, oh, right there. And uh, yeah, Choice Scarf. And yeah, we're gonna go with a um, nice Volt Switch, Hydro Pump. Uh, we're gonna go with Will O Wisp again here. And I, Will O Wisp is a pretty good option on Choice Scarf or Rotom Wash uh, because you have Trick, so if you can, you can get rid of your Choice Scarf. And then you got Will O Wisp here, so that's it's pretty useful. Um, yeah, so yeah, we're gonna go with uh, this set right here. And what else do I want to say about Rotom Wash? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Choice Scarf Rotom Wash is pretty good for balanced teams overall. Um, it checks more offensively oriented threats uh, that, you know, um, I guess would probably be able to uh, outspeed the team. I guess maybe like Dragon Dance uh, Gyarados, for example, you could just bring this thing on it. And you're faster, so uh, you can go for a Will O Wisp or maybe even a Volt Switch if they decide to switch out, predicting your Choice Scarf. So, yeah, alright, so we got half our team here. And now we need the other part of our offensive core. So, let's see. Okay, so we're gonna need a Grass Resistant. We don't have a. Um, physical sweeper yet we don't have a mega pokemon yet so let's think here uh, first pokemon that pops into my mind mega charizard x yes 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 oh that's a good one all right so we're gonna go with charizard we're gonna go give it the charizardite x um yeah so char um charizard is weak to dragon and ground but rotom wash is immune to ground so i guess that's one weakness taken care of so yeah let's go ahead and uh let's go ahead and fill out our uh, Mega Charizard X. Alright, so um, I like using this set. Oops. 112, I think. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Uh, yeah, out of nature. So yeah, what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna go with a little bit a little bit bulkier variant of uh, Mega Charizard X. We're gonna go Dragon Claw. We're gonna go Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're gonna go Dragon Dance. We're gonna go... Um, we're gonna go roost so that we can get some HP back, and yeah, this is really good, I guess, on balanced teams because, um, you know, you can, it, you're not only just a setup sweeper, but you're also you can also heal your Charizard. So, 
we, we pretty much have three Pokemon on our balance team that can heal itself. So really, we have no need for any wish kind of wish support for this team. Um, I'll get into that later. Uh, balance teams sometimes have wish support. They sometimes they have all kinds of support, but you know I'll get into that. But anyway, so this is our Charizard here. So um, yeah, so we have completed our offensive core as you can see right here. Our offensive core is comprised of Rotom Wash and Charizard, a special attacker and a physical attacker. Um, and yeah, they both cover each other's weaknesses pretty well, apart from Dragon, which we are going to probably cover later on. Uh, so yeah, Rotom Wash is immune to Ground, which uh, Mega Charizard X is super effective to, and um, yeah, that's pretty good. So we have a pretty solid build so far. Um, just remember when you're building these kinds of teams, uh, remember defensive core and then offensive core. Make sure that they have good, pretty good type synergy. Um, so yeah, now we have both our offensive and defensive cores. There are a few options for our last two slots. We could either add a Pokemon for team support and another like randomly, a random Pokemon, maybe an offensive one to go with it. We could add another defensive core to the team. We could add another offensive core to the team. You know, there's a lot of possibilities for these last two slots for a balanced team. But generally, I prefer adding, you know, a little bit of team support and an extra offensive Pokemon. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. So if we take a look at the team, uh, most of our weaknesses are covered up, bar maybe dragon, ghost, and dark types. A fairy type would take out our dragon and dark weaknesses, so let's see here. Um, Clefable, Clefable, I think, yeah, I think Clefable would be good. Yeah, oh yeah, Clefable would be really good, I think. Um, having a Clefable would be pretty useful, since... I mean, we, since we, like I said, since we don't really need wish support for the team, since most of the Pokemon we have can heal itself, having a Clefable would be useful since it has access to Heal Bell, uh, which would get rid of our team statuses, and it would like pretty much get rid of any annoying burns or poisons or even paralyzations, like, like Charizard, for example, which is our you know setup sweeper. So, yeah, Clefable is going to be really useful, and. Since it has the ability unaware, right, since it has the ability unaware, Pokemon won't be able to set up on this uh, Pokemon since unaware negates the stat boosts of opposing teams, so Clefable is also able to set up with Calm Mind, so yeah, we can go with the Calm Mind set. Uh, Moonlight for healing, of course, and Moonblast, which is our strong stat move. And yeah, Clefable is, oh yeah, Clefable is also a special sweeper too, in a way, because, um, because... It could set up combine and potentially sweep, so we do have a physical sweeper and a special sweeper, but our special sweeper is also our support Pokemon too, with the heal bell. So yeah, that's really good. And it uh, stops sweeping with uh, unaware. And um, yeah, and and it resists and it's immune to dragon type moves. So yeah, that's really good. It the pieces are fitting together pretty well overall for having uh, just built this team right now out of scratch. Uh, all right, so let's just give it leftovers. Um, female. Yep. Alright, maybe... Ah, oh, perfect. Alright, good, good. Alright, wow, so, alright, awesome. So we have five Pokemon so far. And for our final slot, we need to think here. It would be nice, I guess, to have some kind of priority move for the team. Like, um, Extreme Speed maybe, or Ice Shard, or Sucker Punch. Something that we can use to pick off at weakened Pokemon. It would also be nice if we had some kind of uh, resistance to Ghost-type moves. Not necessarily something that could wall them, maybe, but something that could just, you know, be there just for the sake of being a resistance. Taking a look at the team so far, I guess Aegislash could be a little annoying. Uh, Charizard can potentially check it. I mean, Charizard can definitely check it, of course. Hippowdon potentially, maybe. I, I, mean, I think it depends on how much a Shadow Ball does. I think with the EVs, though, Shadow Ball, it shouldn't 2 it KO it, I think. Uh, so, yeah, but... I guess we could add something else maybe that could, I guess, also help with taking down Aegislash. And also have priority moves too. So let's think. Bisharp, Bisharp would be good, I guess, but I kind of want to throw a little bit of uniqueness to the team. So uh, let's see. Um, I guess you don't see... Oh, I guess you don't see Weavile as much. Weavile is pretty good too, so... Yeah, let's use Weavile. Let's use Weavile. Alright, nice. Weavile has always been, you know, pretty cool. It's, it's pretty powerful. It has priority Ice Shard while being resistant to Dark and Ghost-type moves, so I probably wouldn't recommend trying to take too many hits with this thing, but, you know, it's it's pretty good. And Weavile always has been pretty anti-meta in the sense that unprepared teams will kind of fall to this thing during late-game scenarios. I used to be a pretty big Weavile user back in the days, but 
you know, you can send this guy out and start spamming move after move, uh, near towards, like, late game scenarios, and, uh, you know, play a little game of cleanup, so, yeah, let's go ahead and just give it max attack, max speed, and then just maybe four defense, I guess. Uh, Dolly Nature, of course, because look at that, nice, nice speed. Uh, Life Orb, get some extra power there, and, uh, yeah, let's go with the moves knockoff, which is really useful, ice, ice, ice punch, of course, ice shard, and well, let's go with low kick. Low kick is some good coverage there. And yeah, Weavile is a really cool Pokemon overall, in my opinion. Uh, like I said, I've used him a lot, so it's really cool. Anyways, yeah, this looks like a pretty solid team, I guess. Um, just, you know, from building from scratch, it looks like a pretty solid team. Uh, what kind of threats do I see here? Mm, maybe fairy types, I guess, sometimes. Um... I mean, I guess, like, I mean, we can beat Mega Mawile with Hippowdon and Charizard, maybe. Uh, Mega Gardevoir, I guess, I mean, Ice Punch is gonna do, like, <laughs> like so much damage to Gardevoir. And then I guess we could Revenge Kill with Rotom. Uh, but, you know, overall, I think it's a pretty solid team. Uh, so, yeah, um, yeah enough, of, enough of my little uh, chit-chat there. But anyways, so yeah, this is the team, and it's pretty much the basics and all you really need to know about making balanced teams. So let's just sum up what we have here overall. Uh, I, I know I said I wasn't prepared, so I, I just went I just went through this. So let's kind of like give a little summary of what we learned here. So balanced teams. We got a defensive core composed of a physically defensive wall and a specially defensive wall. We got an offensive core composed of a physical attacker and a special attacker. We got a Pokemon for support, an additional Pokemon that goes well with type synergy of the team. Uh, in this team, we have a Choice Scarf user, which is our Rotom Wash. Uh, useful for revenge killing and scouting purposes. A Pokemon that can set up Stealth Rocks, very useful for ba ba what am I saying? For balance teams, right? Um, a Pokemon that can deal priority damage. We got Weavile here. A special Sweeper, Clefable, a Physical Sweeper, Charizard, and a Defogger to get rid of hazards. That's Mew. And yeah, that's pretty much all it takes. Those are like really the main parts of a balanced team. And as usual. Uh, Let's go to the simulator and try this team out. Um, hopefully this was helpful. <laughs> but yeah, let's go see if this team actually works. Alright, so uh, see you guys there. And here we are, back on the Pokemon Online Simulator, ready to test this team out. Um, I will reply to this guy, I'll say hi. And um, anyways, yeah, let's, uh, let's test this team out and uh, see how it does on the ladder. Alright, so I'm going to be using Mamoswag. And, uh, yeah, let's try it out. Alright, cool, so we got a battle against, um, exclamation mark, H, exclamation mark, super ego. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lead off with our, I think we're gonna lead off with Charizard this time. Uh, had a feeling he'd lead off with Rotom. Um, we are Mega Charizard X after all, so, yeah, I'm gonna go Mega Evolve, I'm gonna go for the, um, I think the Dragon Claw is a pretty safe idea. Nice, nice, nice. And uh, yeah, what we can do now is just go for a Flare Blitz. Alright, so his Hydro Pump did a pretty good chunk of damage. Um, Alright, that's not too, it's not too bad, I guess. We took out his Rotom Wash. Alright, so he sends out his Pinsir, and what we can do now is we can um, go into our Hippowdon. He goes for the Quick Attack right here. I'm going to make a nice double switch into Rotom. Or, yeah, nice double switch into Rotom. He sends out Mandibuzz. Let me just copy the teams real quick here so that I can uh, have them for reference and you guys can see them too. I'm gonna go for the Volt Switch right now. Um, does a nice, pretty much half chunk of damage there. And I'm gonna go into Clefable. He goes for the knockoff. I'm gonna go right back into my Rotom. He goes for the Roost right here. And I'm gonna go, once again, I'm gonna go for another Volt Switch. And um, I get a crit this time. That's unfortunate for him. Um, I have a feeling he might go for the knockoff again. Um, I don't want him to heal off though, that's the thing, so... I'll go into Weavile. He goes for the Roost, and I'm just gonna go for a nice solid Ice Punch right here. I think Ice Punch should do a good chunk of damage. I get a crit, and um, that's unfortunate, but, you know, what to do. Anyways, I'm gonna go into Rotom right here. Block the Thunder Wave, nice. This thing might be annoying. I'm gonna go for the trick. 
All right, awesome, awesome. This is going really well so far. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for the Volt Switch right now. He's probably gonna switch out because he can't do anything right here. Go into Weavile right here. All right, nice. I'm not gonna go for the knockoff in case he goes back into Nickel Fable. I'm gonna go for the Ice Punch. Take out his Latios. It's awesome. All right, he goes into his Genesect right here and I'm pretty sure he's gonna go for the U-turn maybe, I think. So I'm gonna go into Hip Out on. I'm going, or maybe an Iron Head, I don't know. But okay, he goes for the Iron Head. Does a good chunk of damage to my Hippowdon, and I'm just gonna now make a switch into my um, Rotom. He does have Life Orb, so I'm guessing he has Bug Buzz too. That's gonna be a little tough to play around. I'm gonna go into. Okay, he has U Turn. Never mind. I did run a Life Orb set for Genesect before with Bug Buzz too, so I wasn't sure. Anyways. Um, Alright, cool. So I'm gonna go into Hippowdon right here. He goes for the return, and I'm gonna go now into my Rotom, because I need Rotom healthy just to beat that Pinsir. Let's go for a Volt Switch right here, he goes into Clefable, and I'm going to go into my Charizard. And uh, what I could do, I think he might go for the Thunder Wave right here. Um, not really sure. I'm going to go back into Rotom. He goes, okay, he goes for Stealth Rocks. Uh, I'm going to go for the Volt Switch right here. Nice. Alright, he's going to just keep going for Stealth Rocks, I think. Gonna go for Defog. Alright, good. Um, he's probably gonna go for the U-turn right now. Gonna go into Clefable. Actually... Mm, yeah, I'm gonna go into Clefable. He goes for the U-turn, takes some Life Orb damage there. And uh, right now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a switch into Rotom, I think. Or I could stay in and go for a... Uh, Moonblast to predict. I think I'm just gonna do that. Predict the sword dance, I think, maybe. Okay, he just went for the return, that's fine. Alright, let's go into Weavile, and let's go for the Ice Punch. I think we should be able to do a good chunk of damage to anything that switches in. He does have Rotom, though, I think. Wait, no he doesn't. I killed his Rotom. Alright, nice. And uh, we could just go for... I think he has extreme speed, I think. Yep. And... Soft boil it out, maybe? I don't know. Alright. So it's 3 on 3. We knocked out his Genesect. Pinsir's still there, which is a pretty big threat. Overall. I'm gonna go into Charizard right here. I wanna, okay, I'm gonna knock out that Clefable with a, fl a Flare Blitz. There we go. And uh, next is his Pinsir and his Mandibuzz. I think he might send out Mandibuzz, or Pinsir, maybe. Hmm. Alright, he sends out Mandibuzz. Okay, I could, um... I just need a healthy Rotom. I need a healthy Rotom. That's all I need. Go for the Flare Blitz. Let's see how much it does. Ah, oh, he went for the Roost. Okay, okay. Not bad. Um... Let's see here, let's see. Right, we gotta play the smart, it's two on two. Gonna go into this guy, gonna go for the Will-O-Wisp. Ah, we missed, we missed, we missed. Go for another Will-O-Wisp. Ah, nice, nice, there we go. Nice, perfect. Awesome, alright, we go for the Volt Switch, we go into Weavile now. And... Hit him up with an Ice Punch. He goes for the Foul Play, and I think we take the win. I think we take it. I think we got the win. Yep, we got the win. Nice. Nice. Awesome. Alright, uh, I think one more battle should be good, maybe. Um, and then we could, uh, yeah, wrap this up. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Alright, we got a Greninja X here. So, uh, yeah, I think I've seen him before. I think I've laddered and versed him before. Uh, anyways, looking at the team, it looks pretty, pretty bulky, looks pretty offensive. Um, without further ado, let's try it out, and, uh, let's see here. So, he's probably gonna lead off with maybe X, maybe Rotom, maybe. Or Excadrill, maybe, I don't know. Um, let's lead off with, let's lead off with Charizard. Uh, he leads off with a Venusaur right here. I'm going to Mega Evolve, and I'm going to go for the... Flare Blitz, I think. 
think that'd be a pretty safe play. Or Dragon Claw, maybe, I don't know. Let's go let's just go for Flare Blitz. Or Dragon Claw, actually. Uh Flare Blitz. Just copy the teams here. Oops, there we go. Alright, ah, oh, nice. Nice 70% damage right there. He goes for the Sludge Bomb. I don't get poisoned, which is very good. Um, just hit him up with the Dragon Claw. Nice, 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 nice. Weakness policy. Okay, so let's go into Hit Pout on. Um, get some Rocket Helmet damage off of that, and just make a du double switch into Fable. And, um, yeah, that was pretty good overall. Uh, now what I could do is I can just go for a Moonblast. He goes for the Earthquake. I am unaware, so yeah, it's not going to do anything. Nothing really. Alright, he goes into Venusaur. He's probably going to take this opportunity to um, go for the soft um, the synthesis here. Alright, that's fine. I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp right now. Uh, whatever he brings in, going to get burned. Uh, hopefully it's his Excadrill, I think. Alright, he just stays in. And I can just go for a Psychic, I think. Yep, nice. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much KO range right here, so I'm just gonna go for a Soft Boiled. Alright, that should be enough uh, HP restored, so I'm just gonna go for Psychic. And, uh, yeah, he, okay, he brings in his Gengar right here, so I don't want him to set up a substitute, because that would be pretty annoying. I'm going to just, um, uh, just gonna go for a Psychic, I think. Okay, he just goes for the Shadow Ball. And, uh, I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna go into Weavile. I'm gonna go for the knockoff right here. There we go, nice, nice, nice. And he brings an Excadrill. I'm not really sure how much Low Kick would do. I'm pretty sure that's also Scarf too. Uh, so I'm gonna just go into my um, Pout on Rock Tomb. Ooh, that's neat. That's really neat, actually. Um, okay. Let's go for a uh, Stealth Rocks, I think. Probably he's going to go into his Rotom Wash right now, I think. That's what I think. And I think he's probably thinking, Diggersby is going to be annoying. I just realized that Diggersby is not really good for this kind of team. But you know, it's all about team building. It's basically you just figure out what you're weak to when you pretty much when you play, you figure out what you're weak to. So Yeah, I guess we're waiting on him. Um Tell him to make a move, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess guess that's how it ends. <laughs> I have no idea. Alright, whatever. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's the game. Pretty much. So, yeah, overall, this is, uh, this is stall teams. I'm not stall, what am I saying? <laughs> this is a balanced team. So, like I said, um, two defensive walls, two special, uh, two offensive attackers all right there we go mama swag are you mulan yes we just <laughs> all right okay he stayed in went for the earthquake here uh, all right i could all i could just kill it with rotom wash i guess all right anyways i'm just gonna go for the earthquake i don't see why he did that i don't see why he did that at all Whirlwind him. Boom. Oh, 
All right. Um, all right, so what we could do is... <sighs> hmm. Sack this thing. And... He has Hydro Pump. All right, um... Go to this thing, I think. Calm mind up. Oh, okay, please. I think I should be able to live. Yeah, I, of course I can live. Come on. No, I can't live. Oh my god, alright, I think I lose. Shoot, I think I lose this. Um, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Do I lose? Oh no, I lose! Wait, am I- okay, I'm Troy Scarf. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait a second. Hydro Pump? Come on, please! Please, please, please! No, come on! No, come on! Come on! Come on! No! Oh, come on, I had that game. What? Are you kidding me? Horrible. Oh my god, I had that game! I had it! <laughs> I had that game! Alright, anyways. I guess we could end it here. Um... I'm tempted to do another one, but nah, I don't want to do any more after that, anyways. Uh, whatever, I had the game, whatever. Anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, little, um, what is it, episode 4 of my team building guide. And yeah, that's pretty much what it's, what, uh, Balanced Team's about. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video, and make sure you check out my other episodes as well if you haven't checked them out already. Um, and yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. <laughs> Alright, uh, peace guys.